procurement. Now, following directive from the Bank of Ghana to commercial commercial banks in West Africa's second largest economy, will from July 2nd limit over-the-counter cash withdrawals to 10,000 CDs or about $5,000 to access how the how prepared the economy is for this move and the implications for the for the Ghana market. I'm now joined by Nana Otuo Achipong from the Center of Executive Education and Research. Nana, thank you so much for joining us and let's jump right into it. Um, how prepared is your market for this initiative? It's something that we've seen in Nigeria. It makes a lot of sense because of the savings that we make in Nigeria. In fact, the central bank said about a billion dollars has been spent managing cash. So it's a good idea to move away from cash. But how prepared is Ghana for this? Um, well, in terms of preparedness, I think uh, the once the move is made by the regulator, then the, the, the rest will throw the line. But as you rightly said, it's a, a good move because not only is it making a cash light, but it's a way of uh, fighting fraud in the system. Because with the new code line check clearing system that we have in Ghana, whereby the physical checks are not taken to the branches, but the electronic version is sent. We've had a lot of cloning, check cloning in the system. And so this is one way of ensuring that the uh, check is a genuine check and not one which has been cloned uh, because of technology. So it is a good move. And I mean, the central bank uh, indicated that they did it in conjunction with the Association of Rural Banks. So it's something that has been accepted by the banking industry uh, okay. to be implemented. But how, to what, in, to what extent would this impact commerce? And you know, the way people are, people are already used to doing business in a certain way, so I imagine that uh, making this transition is something that some people may want to resist. But uh, your thoughts on what the impact of this move on commerce in Ghana, in Ghana right now? Okay. Initially, uh, nobody, nobody likes change. Uh, change is always resisted. And therefore, one would expect that you get the old um, one or two resisting that change. I think generally it is accepted because it, it benefits uh, both parties. It benefits the, the banks themselves from this uh, issue of fraud, but also from the beneficiary because it's not safe to be carrying 10,000 and over physical cash with you. Uh, the risk of being marked or the risk of being beggared uh, is reduced if this limit uh, is there. So I think generally, uh, as time wears on, people will accept that it is something which is good uh, for the system. In terms of um, attitudinal change, it will take a little while because some people have been used to the cash system for so long that uh, trying to build room in a day will naturally not be in tune with them. But I think as time goes on, they will see the sense in it, the benefits, and uh, which outweigh the limitations and therefore come to accept it. So, All right. Um, I think that's what we are finding in the industry. 